Stuck out approach, 2.9 or Sierra, that's with you at 3,100 feet. 2.9 or Sierra, Southbound Approach, hello, are you familiar with El Toro? Yes, I am familiar with El Toro, Fox Sierra. And Fox Sierra, go ahead and head towards El Toro, El Toro, and then Signal Peak, and that'll keep you away from the job lane via target parking. We'll see you heading towards El Toro now, then proceed to Signal Peak, 2.9 or Fox Sierra. Thank you. Hey, what's going on guys? Tristan here, back with another video. I know it's been a very long time, but that's just because we've been going through a lot of life changes. Um, I know you saw the title of this video, I failed my private pilot check ride, but we'll get into that here in a, here in a second. Um, the reason why we've been, I've been gone for so long is because uh, the life change is that I'm moving to Ch Nuka, Tennessee. Um, as you guys know, I got let go of my job. Um, a couple months back and I've since found a new job where a new job found me um, and so that job is taking me to Chattanooga that and I'm really excited about it um, my wife is excited about it she found a job out there so we're in the middle of getting the house all packed and ready to go getting things situated um, living arrangements things like that but we're really excited about it but what I'm not excited about is the fact that I, check, I, I my private pilot check ride so uh, before I get to the how I feel about it um, how I failed was on calculating um, landing weight. What ended up happening, he had me uh, plan out a route from uh, Santa Ana, Point John Wayne Airport to Paso Robles, um, which was a long, long flight. You can even put on my section. The trip was going to burn 18 gallons. Um, and so when we had, he had me calculate uh, landing weight, Total trip was, uh, okay, she's not talking about me. Again, the total trip, we're going to burn 18 gallons. Um, fuel is six pounds per gallon, so this plane can hold, it can hold uh, 53 gallons, six times 53 is three. But I, what I ended up doing was, I was moving too fast, I was thinking way too fast, and I ended up subtracting 18 gallons from 318 pounds, when I should have multiplied 318 uh, times 6 and subtracted that number from 318, and he closed the book on me, and that's how I ended up failing the exam, uh, because I didn't meet the skill standard in the ACS, that's good. Thank you Okay, we'll do 249 across the Sierra, uh, you said 119.9. It's there 19.9. 19.9, 249 across the Sierra, thank you. Thank you. John Wayne Tower, 249 across the Sierra, just crossed over El Toro, proceeding to Signal Peak and inbound for runway 20 left. 5-8, we will maintain 3,000 hold over Signal Peak. Maintain 3,000 hold over Signal Peak, 5-8, we're not. 9, Fox Cross Sierra, John Wayne Tower, yep. Yes, uh, I'm approaching uh, signal peak, 249 across the Sierra. Turn 9, Fox Rest here, and uh, just hold in your uh, present position and right 360 is maintain 2000. Alright, right 360 maintain 2000, 249 across the Sierra. Survive your out, following traffic ahead, continue east down there above 1300, I'll call your turn. Oh, turn around the point. Um, yeah, that's how I feel the exam. I, uh, I just, we're just a simple best calculation on my end, and didn't even, didn't even make it to the flight portion of of the, uh, of the exam, so it's a bummer. It hurts. Um, I took the exam three days ago as of this flight right now, and I'm still not 100% over it. It stinks, it hurts. I was pretty much devastated. Like, I just completely shut down, um, and I wasn't I wasn't a happy camper for, for, for about two days. I had to tweet through it. I had to Facebook post. I had, I had to Facebook post through it just to get all my feelings out. You know, um, I was having a pity party for myself, but I'm grateful for my support system, the people that I have in my life, my friends, my family, even distant strangers that that saw what I was going through. And these people will not allow me to quit because I tell you right now. I wanted to quit. I was ready to throw everything away. I was ready to cut up my my license card, my uh, my certification card. I was over it. I wanted to quit. But even now, I have a tiny part of me that wanted to quit because I spent so much time, so much money. I sacrificed a lot. I sacrificed time with friends, um, loved ones that I could have been spending with them for this dream. And it didn't happen for me. 
for the first time. Which was really disappointing. Again, these people won't, they won't allow me to, to quit. I only fail if I quit, and I'm not going to quit. I will get my license, I will succeed, and I will be a private pilot. Maybe not on my time, but when it's supposed to happen, it'll happen the right way. So, there is that. Uh, one thing that also uh, made me feel a little better is that the national average of hours people usually get obtained to get their private license is 75. I have 48. I have 48 hours, so I had to take my test pretty soon, only because I was moving soon. And I felt that I was ready, and my instructor felt that I was ready, so that's why we kind of rushed it, which ended up not being a thing, which is no one's fault. It's, it's really no one's fault. Oh, so, um, what I'm not looking forward to doing is building a new relationship with, uh, with the flight school, I'm going to rapport with a new flight instructor and getting those door endorsements all over again. Because I have to build that trust in order for them to endorse me to do this thing. Alright, I'm almost over a single feet. Call my number. I have traffic inside 249 across the air. It's a nice house down here. Anyways, um, as I was saying, um, yeah, all the negative feelings. You the developer fired here. So it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to fail, but um, I wasn't supposed to get in. I was meant to get in. Right, there, you start that turn in direct to UTI. Left track for only your left. Making that turn to UTI um, for runway two zero left. Put on a fuck up here. Now I'm going to UTI. Um, so the reason I'm doing this flight now, I just really didn't want to leave a bad taste in my mouth when it came to my Southern California flying experience. I needed to get up in the air one more time by myself just to, you know, really remember why I'm doing this and how it feels and how much I honestly love it. You know, so... I appreciate the support that everyone has, has given me. I appreciate the support that everyone has given me. And it's not the, it's not the end of my pilot story. It's just a setback. What do people say? They say it's a minor setback for a major comeback. And that's exactly what I believe. Um, I appreciate everyone who's sent out messages. Uh, who's texted me. who put it on my post. Um, just know that it doesn't go unnoticed. And it's really, truly, truly. Appreciate it. And this is bittersweet. I mean, you guys see this in your flight. Flying out here has been, been wonderful. It's been beautiful. Okay, got it now. Thank you. Well, leaving California is a little bittersweet too, but I'm excited for my wife and I this next time they're out in Manuga. And yeah. yeah. Watch, I'm going I'm to grease this landing. I'm on one pattern. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grease my last landing here before you. I'm gonna end this thing on a high note. And increase my. Alright, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna butter this last night. I feel it. Bittersweet, man. Bitter, bittersweet. I have to slip this one, I'm way too high right now. There we go, get back on the right slope. Last landing. Last landing before we move to Chattanooga. Is he going to Is he going to grease it? Is he going to make the way? Idle, idle. Going to grease it. Yeah, 
I got it. Yeah, buddy.